All right, hello everyone. Just want to make a video with my uh, thoughts and pros and cons on your different options as far as uh, having a dump truck or a way to dump uh, debris and material in the landscaping industry, <clears throat> as well as anything else for that matter, but uh, my experiences with landscaping. Um, I've had pretty much, I've definitely had all of these options and uh, tried a couple other options as well. And um, you know, they all have their pros and cons and can be confusing to try to decide exactly, uh, you know, what may be the way to go at certain times. And I usually make changes quite often, as you may have noticed if you uh, follow me at all on, on YouTube. But uh, I'm currently with a, uh, a dump trailer that I just put up uh, recently, yesterday, I think it was, on a video. And I wanted to explain, um, well, not really explain, but uh, like I said, show the pros and cons of the different options. Uh, so I made this little presentation. Um, so here we are. Um, our first option uh, would be uh, your dump truck. Um, which is I put you know approximate prices here for a running you know functioning dump truck something that you could actually take to a job and use you're probably starting about five thousand dollars and you know runs up to sixty or more I put sixty thousand because if you're gonna buy a one ton or uh, you know something around that size maybe a little larger uh, nowadays new um, you you know you end up paying probably somewhere around sixty thousand for it so. Um, your next option is the dump trailer, uh, which price-wise uh, starts around five thousand. Um, now these are new prices uh, where a dump truck you might find, you know, used. You could also find a used dump trailer as well, but it seems that they hold their value uh, pretty well. So in my opinion, it's really not worth buying a used one unless it uh, is exactly what you're looking for and is close by and you know is in really good shape. Um, so I put about 5000 to 9000 for your average size dump trailers. That's going to get you something from about 10 feet up to, you know, 14 to 16 feet. And then your other option here is a dump insert, which uh, is just a, a steel bed that goes inside of the body of your dump truck, uh, of your uh, pickup truck that you already have. Uh, and those new uh, 3000 to $5,000 um, in my experience, you know, depending on what options you get, if you get a cab protector or a tarp and <clears throat> if you get it installed um, as well is another thing. So, and then uh, the last option, which is an inexpensive way to go is the load handler, um, which uh, is basically a rolling top tarp setup that you put on your tailgate on your pickup truck and you pull it out, put your debris on top of it and you connect a handle and it kind of pulls the the debris out of the back of the truck for you uh, which is kind of a an option to dump as well uh, and I still have one and use one um, you know for smaller things they're just nice to have so um, <clears throat> all right so here we go uh, dump truck pros and cons um, and we'll start out with the pros um, you don't have you don't have to have a trailer I don't know why you don't have two two ah don't have to tow a trailer is what that's supposed to say, but you can. Um, with a dump truck, um, you can also pull a trailer that would have equipment, uh, another dump trailer, uh, um, you know, or whatever, uh, uh, maybe a leaf sucker or a uh, a wood chipper or whatever you may you may pull. Um, whereas if you have a dump trailer, uh, you know, apples to apples comparison, you can't pull a trailer with a trailer, obviously. So. Um, so that's kind of a plus. Um, the next plus is uh, you have a, another vehicle basically by having a dump truck um, over a dump trailer, you have something that uh, you know you can plow with uh, something that you can you know tow another trailer with. you can move your employees around you know use for transportation whereas just a dump trailer by itself doesn't provide any of those. Um, as far as its capacities um, and all these four choices, I, Kind of rated as a medium weight and volume capacity. Um, you can fit a good amount depending on the size of the truck that you get, and you can get a you know pretty good amount of, of weight in there as well. Uh, but the truck also weighs a good amount. So if you're trying to stay under you know uh, twenty six thousand pounds where you need a C, uh, twenty six thousand pounds where you need a CDL license, you would definitely. Um, uh, you know, you have to subtract the weight of the truck, you know, like this uh, F450 here is probably seven or 8,000 pounds. And I think it was uh, rated for 14,000 or maybe, f no, I think it was 16,000. So you could actually put uh, the payload was about 8,000 pounds. Uh, whereas 
a dump trailer, uh, the 14 foot dump trailer that I have now, I could actually put about 10,000 pounds in. So, um, and less skill to drive, uh, you know, a truck without a trailer by itself, uh, if you have employees that have not used a trailer before or yourself for that matter, or anybody else is going to borrow it, you know, whatever it is, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to drive around, uh, without having to worry about a trailer okay so now we'll get to the uh the uh the cons um high insurance registration cost um for a dump truck uh you need uh pretty expensive insurance uh you're going to be over ten thousand pounds uh which is going to be a commercial insurance it's going to vary state to state what it costs you as far as that and the registration um but you're going to have a a monthly payment on your insurance cost or uh you know unless you pay it all up, up at once uh, as well as uh, your registration, uh, you know, inspections, all of that stuff. So it's going to cost you more in, uh, as far as that goes, as opposed to a dump trailer and uh, even more so the uh, dump insert. Uh, high maintenance. Uh, you know, if you buy something new, it's fairly low maintenance. You buy something used, it's fairly high maintenance. Um, through time, you know, it's a truck, it's a vehicle. You've got tires, you've got brakes, you've got exhaust, uh, you've got, uh, you know, electrical issues. got a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, that wouldn't on a dump trailer uh, because it's it's not a vehicle, you know. So uh, with a dump trailer, you're able to you know hook up any vehicle you may have and still be able to get the job done and dump. Um, next thing would be high upfront cost. A dump truck, you know, you could pay up to sixty thousand dollars. A brand new dump trailer uh, that will carry about the same weight, you're going to be looking somewhere around six or seven thousand dollars new. So uh, much more expensive to buy. Uh, resale value, uh, as opposed to a dump insert or a dump trailer, because there are a lot of moving parts um, and the uh, you know a new vehicle in general, as soon as you drive it off the lot, you're losing 20% right there. Uh, your resale value, you're not you're, you're going to lose. Uh, you know, say you use it for a year, as opposed to a dump trailer for a year or a dump insert, you're going to lose a lot more money with your dump uh, your dump truck when you go to resell it. <clears throat> than you would with uh, any of the other options. Um, another con would be a higher loading height. Uh, lifting barrels, uh, if you want to empty a dump, I mean a, um, a wheelbarrow into the back of the truck, uh, you can put a, you know, kind of a long ramp and kind of roll it up into the truck, but, you know, you're a good foot to two feet higher, maybe even more, more depending on what truck you have, um, than you would if you had a dump trailer for that instance, so... Okay, now on to the dump trailer, pros and cons. Um, as I was just mentioning, uh, you have a lower uh, loading height with a dump trailer. You open up the back, uh, you can use the ramps, you know, mine came with ramps, and uh, you can roll a wheelbarrow right up into the back and empty it if you're uh, moving some material around or you're doing edgings, you know, and you fill up the, the, the wheelbarrow full of edgings and you want to get it into the dump truck because you're taking it off, off the site. Uh, you know, just kind of a, a, a better way to go with the, the dump trailer, in my opinion. Uh, you can leave a dump trailer on the job. Now, you could leave a dump truck on the job, but if you go to lunch and that's the only vehicle there, you've got to take your dump truck if you're driving um, or you have to go pick up a part or whatever it is. got to go do an estimate. Uh, you've got to bring whatever you have in the back of your truck, um, whether it's a full load of mulch or, you know, branches sticking out or whatever it is, you need to bring it with you. As opposed to a dump trailer, you could just leave on the job, you know, drive the pickup, go do your estimate, run to the store, you know, go pick up a, a part, run back to the shop, whatever you need to do a lot easier. <clears throat> as far as uh, the uh, expense to insure and register, um, in Massachusetts, you are still required to have insurance on a trailer that is over 3,500 pounds, uh, dual axle trailer, um, but it is probably about 20% or less of the base insurance it would cost you on a equivalent size dump truck. So it's way less the insurance um, as opposed to a dump truck. Uh, also uh, to register it, the registration is actually less, um, probably about 40% per year as opposed to a dump truck. Low maintenance, less moving parts. There's no engine that doesn't burn fuel. Uh, you know, you don't have to change the oil. Uh, you do still have some tires. You got to deal with every once in a while, brakes, lights, you know, a small amount of electrical, but for the, you know, a couple of uh, grease fittings and whatnot. But for the most part, pretty low maintenance on a dump trailer uh, for, for a long time to come. 
having the dump trailer allows your uh, truck bed to be open. You can still use it. Whereas a dump truck, that is the bed. You have no other place to put things. Uh, so if you want to put uh, small handheld two-stroke equipment or you want to put uh, rakes, shovels, wheelbarrows, any of that stuff, you still have your truck bed open that you can use and have material in your dump trailer. Uh, the dump trailer you can use on multiple vehicles. Uh, if your truck goes down and you need to rent a truck or borrow a truck, uh, you can still get your job done. You still have a dump truck, no matter what you pull it with, as long as it's adequate enough to pull it. Another, another uh, pro with the dump trailer as opposed to a truck. Uh, cost to buy is less than a dump truck. Granted, it's more than a dump insert, um, but price-wise, it's you know fairly inexpensive as as opposed to a dump truck, and it holds its value. Uh, a dump trailer that you buy for say seven thousand dollars today will probably be worth six thousand dollars tomorrow, six thousand dollars a year from now, six thousand dollars five years from now pretty much holds its value. At that point, it's gonna start depreciating a little because it's gonna be more on the rusty side and whatnot. But a working uh, you know, dump trailer, even rusty and sad shape, you're still getting you know, more than half of what you paid for it back. You will not do that with a dump truck. Um, a dump trailer, you can haul equipment. Uh, I'm gonna use mine to haul my skid steer around. Uh, the dump truck is too high in the back to put a, you know, a, a skid steer in the back or a mower or something like that where you can do that with the dump trailer, another plus over a dump truck. Um, and if there was an actual ratio for a volume that you can haul to price that it costs you, a dump trailer is really hard to beat, certainly as opposed to a dump truck. Uh, the dump truck may have the same uh, overall GVW, but the truck itself weighs uh, about double what the actual trailer does, which subtracts from your payload that you can actually put in it. Uh, so that's kind of a, uh, a pro for the dump trailer. Okay, down to the cons. Uh, you need another vehicle. Um, as opposed to a dump truck, your dump truck is everything. Your dump truck is your trailer. It is your, your dumping everything. Um, if you have a dump trailer, you can't just drive it to the job. You need something to pull it. So you're going to need another vehicle, which in essence is going to be another insurance payment. Uh, so that could offset it, but it, you probably already have the vehicle. You're not buying it specifically only to pull that trailer. Takes up more space combined with the tow vehicle. So if you have limited uh, parking spots or you're renting an area to park your trucks and trailers, uh, having a dump trailer and a truck, you're taking up two spots. If you have just a dump truck on its own, obviously you're just taking up the one. Uh, more skill required to drive. Uh, you, as you know, a trailer can be a little difficult to back up at times. Some people have problems with it, some people don't. Obviously, I don't. I've been towing trailers probably more than I've been driving a vehicle without a trailer on it. However, new employees, uh, you know, inexperienced drivers, uh, you know, more skill are, is required to drive a truck with a trailer as opposed to not having one at all. Okay, on to the dump insert pros and cons. Uh, <clears throat> low cost to buy as opposed to a dump truck or a dump trailer, less money. Uh, the dump insert, uh, like I said at the beginning, you, get, you could get one new for around $3,000 installed in that area is kind of the low number and up to about 5000 or even more if you got a stainless steel or an aluminum one. But but that's still, uh, you know, for something brand new or you could find one used, uh, you know, usually they're, they hold their value pretty well too, so you're not saving that much. Uh, and then you don't really have anybody to install it. You'll have to do it yourself, but... Um, the dump insert you can install into different trucks, kind of like the dump trailer. You can make any truck a dump truck. Whatever truck's pulling it is is uh, now a dump truck. Uh, any truck that's capable of holding enough weight, three quarter ton, one ton up, uh, can be a dump truck. Uh, it's not something you're going to switch back and forth, uh, you know, on a daily basis, but. If you have a truck for a year or two and then you switch to a different truck uh, that you're going to use for some time period, you can take the dump insert out and install it into the other truck. Uh, the dump insert has no added expense uh, to register or insure. I don't believe there's any extra insurance on the truck. I've never actually come across that. Uh, I bet if you look into it, your insurance company would probably want some more money. 
knowing that you use it to dump. Uh, but you know, again, that'd probably kind of kind of be an optional thing. Uh, so you don't have to worry about tires. You don't have to worry about uh, you know that type of stuff, uh, which is the next thing: low maintenance, pretty much no maintenance for that matter. Um, you know, you've got uh, a little bit of fluid in it, and and that's about it. So, all right. Good resale value. Dump insert is going to hold its value pretty well. You buy it for three thousand dollars. You hold, use it for a couple of years. You can sell it for twenty two hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. You know, maybe even almost full price, depending on who you find. Uh, usually, it's more about availability with the uh, dump ins inserts. If if you have one up for sale and there's a guy two miles away that sees your ad, he's probably going to buy yours rather than having to drive you know an hour or two hours to go to a uh, a um, a dealer that sells them. <clears throat> Uh, with a dump insert as opposed to a dump trailer, you can still tow an additional trailer with your truck. Uh, the dump trailer, you can't. That is the only thing that you can pull. Uh, so you've kind of got that to uh, as a pro. Uh, you can still pull some equipment. You can pull your bobcat behind you. You could pull uh, you know, mowers if you're doing a cleanup, whatever the case is. Uh, you still have that option with a dump insert. Okay, so to the cons, um, the load height in the back, if you're trying to roll a wheelbarrow up into the back of it, uh, it's pretty high. It's even a little higher than just your pickup would be. It adds about six inches to the height of the bed of your truck. Uh, so it's probably not something you're going to want to roll a wheelbarrow into. Uh, you can, you know, if you get a good strong long ramp, you could still do it, but uh, it's not, you know, you're at least a foot, if not, you know, almost two feet uh, higher than a, a dump trailer would be. Um, as far as uh, the installation, uh, when you do put it in your truck, uh, if you have it installed, that's going to cost you some money to put it in. Uh, if you're going to do it yourself, uh, you know, plan on a, a couple hours worth of work to, to put it in, um, which uh, with a dump trailer, you wouldn't have to worry about that at all. Or, you know, a dump truck already has the dump installed when you buy it, I guess. So um, that's just something to consider. Uh, another thing is you have to drill a couple of holes in the bed of the truck. Uh, not a really a big deal, uh, you know, it's just a couple of holes. You can drill them neatly when you take it out. It, I don't think it would really uh, bother anybody that's buying your truck. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of like a drain hole, but it is something to consider that uh, you do have uh, a couple of holes that you're going to be left with in your truck. And when you go to put it into a different truck, you're going to need to put holes in that truck as well. Uh, limited weight and volume capacity. Uh, you're Dump insert is about the lowest capacity for uh, weight and volume of the three options that we've discussed, uh, simply because you know it's only as big as your truck bed. Um, also, weight-wise, it weighs somewhere f around seven, eight hundred pounds itself, which you subtract from your payload of your pickup truck. So, say you have a nine thousand GVW truck, it weighs six thousand. The dump insert weighs 800. That leaves you 2,200 pounds that you can actually put in there, which is just a little over a ton. So you are kind of limited in uh, the actual weight that you can put in there. And like I said, volume. You can build sides up and put a good amount of leaves in it. You know, you can put four yards of mulch is about your max with some sides on it, you know, on an eight-foot bed. But that's also something to consider. Uh, and you lose your truck bed. Uh, when you put that in, it covers your truck bed up. So like with the dump trailer, you still have your truck bed that you can put tools and equipment in, whereas this you don't. Okay, the last option um, really shouldn't be along with all the other ones, but I threw it in because it, it is a good option, especially if you're just starting out. Um, it's nice to have even if you have all of the other options. Uh, they are pretty versatile and I use them uh, quite often and that is the load handler, which if you're unfamiliar, it's basically a, a metal bar with a tarp that's rolled onto it with a handle and it uses leverage of the rolling uh, around the bar to pull the, uh, the tarp and actually unload the back of your pickup truck. Uh, so the pros on that, very low cost. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I think they're like $150. I think you can even get one at like Harbor Freight for $99 or $89. I think it's mostly plastic. It's not as good as the, the pro model from Load Handler, but it, it, you know, it would do for sure. You could use it for some time period and, and get away with it. So um, you can use it in any truck. 
pretty easy. You know, it takes you five minutes to swap over just a couple of straps and it just clips right on your tailgate. And, uh, you know, if you sell your truck or change from truck to truck, it's pretty easy to, to change, you know, from one to the other. Uh, again, no added insurance or registration costs. That kind of goes without saying. Uh, you, you know, you're just putting an attachment on, on your tailgate. Uh, simple to set up. Uh, you can, you know, you buy one of these, put it together out of the box. You know, in 20 minutes, you're you're dumping. Uh, pretty simple. Little to no maintenance, and I say little maintenance because there really isn't maintenance. Uh, the only maintenance there is is the tarp itself will start to fray. Uh, it's kind of made of like a nylon material that. Uh, you know, I, I usually end up taking some duct tape and kind of going around the edges just so it doesn't fray. But in time, it still frays and falls apart. You know, you can rip it. Uh, the replacement tarps from the company are very, very inexpensive. I actually was surprised. I think it was like $28 shipped to my house, uh, which had I known in the past, I probably would have uh, replaced some of my earlier ones way quicker. But uh, yeah, you can get a replacement. You know, they, depending on how much you use them, you're looking at uh, you know probably a year or three years, maybe max, probably. You know, if you're using it a couple of times a week, um, and and you'll be looking for a new tarp, or you could just buy a whole new unit at that point. It's certainly paid for itself. Uh, you can still tow a trailer with the dump uh, with the uh, the load handler. Um, doesn't affect that in any way, so that's a a, a plus. And you don't lose uh, any bed space that you do with a dump insert. So uh, just this on the back, you still have a way to unload your material. Granted, it's a smaller volume, smaller weight, but it uh, it does work and it works fairly well. Down to the cons, um, your load height, just like with the dump insert, not quite as bad. You're about six inches lower, but it's not great. It's basically the same height as your, your pickup uh, tailgate would be. Uh, which is higher than a dump trailer. Um, there is some manual labor involved. You don't just push a button. So, you know, it, uh, when you have a really good weight on there, you, you know, it's not, you don't have to be He-Man to do it, but you got to put a little effort into uh, to winding this thing up to get the, uh, to get the stuff to unload. Um, the con here would be very limited weight and volume. Uh, you're very lim limited in your volume because you can only basically put what fits on it. Uh, I think it's about, 46 or 48 inches wide uh you know and then it runs the length of your bed so and you can't really fill it right up to the top because then it just falls off the tarp so you can put uh almost a yard of material on there um you know you could put a couple yards on there if you want and the majority of it will come out uh, if you're just doing mulch or something and then you just have to go in and, and shovel out uh, or rake out the, the rest and uh, the other con is it doesn't very uh, last very long as opposed to a dump truck, dump trailer, dump insert. Uh, they'll all last you, you know, many, many, many years, depending on how you keep keep care of it and it doesn't rust away. And your uh, your load handler, like I said, probably three year max if you use it on a regular basis is about the most you're going to get out of one of these. Um, if you wind it up really good, you don't uh, jam it with a pitchfork. You know, you take your time with it. You know, maybe wash it off every once in a while keep the fraying down. You, you might be able to get it to last longer, um, but it's basically the tarp is is, uh, is limited. So hopefully this helps somebody, uh, you know, deciding on what you're going to use or maybe a combination of any of these together. Uh, you could, you know, you could have a pickup truck with a dump insert pulling a dump trailer. Uh, and then you've got, uh, you know, two different materials in two different places as opposed to having a dump truck. So um, these may be just some things that you might not have considered or thought about when you uh, when you bought when you buy each of these things because you until you use them you don't really think of these things. Um, so again, I've been doing this for over 20 years now, and I've had um, at least six of each one of these items, if not 15 or 20, uh, you know, over the years, and I've bounced back and forth depending on the situation, the time of year, and. Uh, you know, the workload that I have involved and how many employees. And so I'm always switching back and forth. They all have a place. They're all great options. Um, you know, there's no, this is better than that. And that's the way to go. And the other ones are just crap. It's just not the case. Uh, as you see, they all have their pros and cons. Uh, in my opinion, the most versatile is the dump trailer. Uh, you know, it holds its value the most. It's got a great capacity. Uh, you can pull it with pretty much any truck. Uh, you know, the only really 
big downfall is you need to have a little experience to pull a trailer, which if you're in this industry, chances are you, you need to know how to pull a trailer anyway. So, all right, hopefully this helps anybody, uh, you know, like the video if you find it helpful. And uh, if you have any other things that I didn't think of or didn't put in this video, put them down in the comments, have a little discussion about it, maybe some other uh, ideas. And uh, hopefully it helps somebody uh, get started in their business or excel to the next level. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks.